Welcome back to Uport. Today I think it's high time we got our final set of plane stands open and functioning, which brings me to a sort of tangent point. You can see right here our large domestic stands have very few flights on them. By the time I have these large international stands open, I won't be surprised if there are no large domestic flights left. Now uh, let's just double check this emergency is nothing to be worried about. Okay, this flight is going to get pushed back. Presumably. when the traffic lets it. I'll just sort of keep half an eye on that for a moment. Um, the way the game... Well, I, I need to say this with caveat. The way I think the game functions, it prioritizes certain types of transport over other types. International trumps domestic, and large trumps, medium, medium trumps, small. By having, um, I believe it's 13 large stands open now, we will find there are fewer medium flights available, in theory. Currently we haven't hit that point, obviously. And fewer small flights. If I'd had this many small stands, back near the beginning of the game, this would have been chock a block. There'd be no gaps. Uh, ignore the gap there, of course, that's from loading game. Um, let's look at the next day. Yeah, you'll see big gap here. Why? Well, there's just not enough flights, or at least not enough with those two um, companies. But again, like, yeah, maybe maybe I'm imagining it. We'll see what happens as we go along. Regardless, let's get some of these open. We'll open two for the moment. We'll let the game run, and in the meantime, we'll start talking about flooring. I have relayed the floor throughout this entire terminal building so far. One thing I'm going to do is make the floor look a little bit more like how it looks in my local airport where you've got tiles everywhere except at each gate. Each gate has its own um, little section of, I won't call it carpet, these are called fancy mats. Um, it looks like carpet but I actually lay down on it at one point and the fiber is so rough that by the end of it I'd actually sliced my hand open. <laughs> and not a major injury of course, just mild little cut. But still, the point stands. It's not comfortable, it's not soft. It's extremely hard wearing, is what I think it is. <laughs> and let's be fair, when you've got hundreds of people walking over a little section of floor every day, hard wearing is an important factor. It's definitely something you would look for in a floor for that. all of our bottom floor. Let's go upstairs. Uh, I've missed a room there. Let's fix that in a minute. Uh, in fact, let's start at the bottom. Oops. This is our section. Uh, I'll go one square further. wanted to. Never mind, we'll fix that later. Uh, 
Uh, and you see, okay, let's go back to our other tile. If I take out that strip and fix this tiny little. Oh no. Nope, I didn't get it wrong. Good. I want at least two of the larger squares travelling through here that isn't part of the stand. Copy and placed fouring. <laughs> Jeez, fingers, words, tongue. Blah. Try that again. It's a pity you can't copy and paste the flooring when you're pasting like seating and all of that. But we'll do our best. Uh, I think it's that line. And because this one's too close to that wall, it's expanded that way. All right. Now let's copy our seats across. Copy these. Turn off the zoning, thank you very much. And put them there. And by having set up the flooring, it's a little bit easier now to actually work out where to put the seats. Again, I don't want that view, thank you. Oops, let's try that again. Copy the whole set. Really don't know why it insists on jumping into zone mode. Right, that should do for that one. Let's throw some more in here as well. And I'm not too worried about getting these all identical. Having seen recently the shape of my airport, um, and I say my airport, my, my local airport, um, each of the gates is a different area that seems like it's just been squeezed in somewhere. <laughs> um, there's just, oops, just not that much rubber stamping going on as far as the um, seating is concerned. Okay, our plane has been fixed, that's all good. And let's move these out there where they were supposed to be, put that there. At some point I may correct that, but I'm not too worried. As I said, you can definitely see some areas have more seating than others. I'm not bothered by that right now. What I am bothered about is this warning error here. Why can't you leave? You cannot leave the secure zone. Make sure a security exit is accessible. Well, you're trying to go to that bathroom. Why? Under what logic? would you want to go to that bathroom instead of the one right here? That is really dumb. You are in the international zone. Use the international zone bathroom, please. Hmm. Tell, is there something wrong with the flooring there? Maybe if we do this. I don't know. Maybe that will fix it. Maybe it won't. And this one can't leave secure zone trying to get to. Really? that. 
when it tells me someone can't get to a point that's right next to them in the same zone, I give up. <laughs> Alright, we have our bathrooms, we have our gate markings. Let's give this store a nice floor. I've used just about every wood recently, but let's go with that one. And the only thing I think that really leaves is the airport lounges. This is only for Maple, because Maple is the um, <laughs> airline I remember best. Um, and then we will create a second airport lounge up this end of the terminal, make it a bit smaller. They do not need to be that giant space. In their information desk. Um, let's say it starts there. That looks a bit silly, doesn't it? All right. um, let's just close it in. I know that's going to create its own. Deal, but I want the door in front of the desk. Okay, it worked out the zoning, good. And then we'll give them a different floor. Let's give them carpet the whole way through. And of course they need buffet tables. We'll put the buffet table just in a little bit, because I think I can fit two like that. And we can put nice fancy chairs, uh, as soon as I remember where seating hides. There you go. Alright. Um, we want... let's go with the modular sofa. Again, the game just doesn't want to let me... oh, that's right, you can't drag these. Fair enough. I'm inclined to think that in an actual lounge like this one where it's dedicated to a particular airline, the staffing would actually be provided by the airline, not the airport, but I could be wrong. Right, and then let's get some nice trees in there. a psychad. Fern. Fern. And our, oops, missed. Banana plant. Right. The only other thing I want to put in there, because I imagine it would be there, is an information screen. No, 
Oh, well, come on. Alright, now let's zoom out and double check our zoning hasn't gone haywire. It has, okay. Alright. International zone. Yeah. So it really does seem to be um, desks, whether they are part of a lounge or part of a, sh a shop. The placement of that staffing zone somehow kills the international zone and you have to redraw it. Okay, how are our stands going? Do we have flights? Uh, I should check their numbers, shouldn't I? This is 39 and that is 40. Yes, there are some flights on there. Good. No planes there currently. I think we're okay. I think we can open the last two. When the game finishes auto-saving. Takes quite a while when the airport is this large. Okay, get those open. Go into night time so all of the things shut down anyway, all the shops and whatnot. Um, although, actually, no, it's coming up to 6 a.m., I think they'll open shortly. I'm surprised this one seems to be open already. Or is it midnight to 4 a.m.? I can't remember. Anyway, at some point the staff will turn up there and it will open. To make that work a bit better, I'm going to allow... Oh, I already have. Passenger service agents are allowed here. And there's a whole one there. <laughs> um, I think I can do it here as well. help, in theory. And we need some more things on this floor. Let's see if we've got any... Sh nope. Any shop contracts left? No, I didn't think so. And what about the eateries? Apparently we've got lots of those left. Alright. Before I get carried away... Let's go back to... Where's the entrance? Yeah, there. Okay. You're functioning. stuff. Yep, 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 yep. So far so good. And that one, that one. That's a stuff room. This one. Aha. This could be... okay, three star, three or all three. Alright, that one will do. Door open. That is all. Can't really squeeze another one in there, so back over here. And which floor was I on this one? Got one there. I think we're going to have problems where, quite simply put, there aren't enough people to handle all of the different stores I'm about to put down, but let's do it anyway. Let's not make them crazy big this time. <laughs> 300 square meters sounds pretty damn big to me. That's bigger than the building I live in. Display fridges, various things, display fridges, more display fridges, but that's a five star. Alright, let's see if we can get a five star in here. 
Um, right. Let's see if we can. I'm sure we can. Uh, display fridge, yes, that one. Mm. It's not over complicated this time. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay, five and six, and we can turn these around. That should be the ten I require. Yep, and then we just need the actual sales point. Can we get two large ones? No. And because I've had so much trouble with it recently, I'm just going to draw the international zone in again, just to be sure. Let's do a hedge rather than a wall this time. It's meant to be five star, I'm sure it would like the ambience. And if I remember correctly, in our templates we only have the square table. Let's do the round table. Cheers. Let's save that as a template. There, I thought I had accidentally got the hedge in it, but nope, I managed to get away with it. And given the way these shops work, that's probably enough seating, but we'll put two more in. Uh, there and there. Cool. Next one. Uh, terminal wall. I'm going to keep these a similar design, I think. They're all the same size, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to just keep the design of a similar nature. May as well stick with the walls and do the whole bit at once. Fine. And that one could be the fancy one. We'll use this one. In fact, I'm going to make my life really simple. Copy all of this stuff. This one is going to be different. Uh, that is. Yeah, that. This one is going to need. Yeah, three cooking stations, four chairs, two tables. Okay. See, cooking station is that. And which way around do we want it? Let's do it along the bottom, I think. One, two. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. We can have our 
sinks behind like so. Freezer can be right next to each cooking station. And I think there's another, is it the stove? Stove can go there, stove can go there. We'll leave the entrance so people can get in. And we will give them ideally a window, but I don't think the windows are going to fit quite as well as I want them to. No. I could make it work. If I move. That's not quite right. <laughs> there, thank you. If I put wall, wall, and get rid of that. And that was a stove. Goes there. Put back the wall I accidentally destroyed. And put in the actual counter. We'll pretend there's a slot in the window and they can pass the food through somehow. Um, it's not super realistic, but then it never is going to be. Also, I need to put that the right way around. <laughs> it's going to look very weird if all the customers come in that side. Once again, just to be sure, because it's been so weird lately. In fact, you can even see it. Over here, the blue stops. But if we redraw it, it, well, it still didn't fix it. But, no, we've got three international zones now. Okay, what's going on? Must be placed inside, oh, that's right, secure zone. Alright, let's fix all of them. This one doesn't claim to be a problem, but we'll be sure. Thank you. And that's better. And back to seating. Uh, this store can be a different type of seat again, I think. There's really only the two tables, unfortunately, but if we make the square one, we can say it is a rectangle. Use bar stools. Play, but it's probably not going to matter at this point in the game. Not ideal. Let's put it this way. And yeah, I'll put it there anyway. I'm just thinking about the customers. They will come in and queue up. They'll probably just queue up in this direction straight out the door. Okay, that needs to have a contract. It's telling me none of them are available. What have I forgotten? Bar stools don't count as chairs. Okay. I mean, I kind of agree, but I'm just going to split the difference. <laughs> No, that way, that way, because at this point I really don't care about your silly nonsense. If you say it has to be chairs, we'll give you chairs. And you were supposed to be that one. Alright, 
If we let the game run a bit faster... Okay, yep, we have a plane on this stand. This stand was opened quite recently. Did I make that? I did make that maple only, and then I totally forgot to make this maple only. Maple. Okay. Um, this plane... Zero of 102 passengers boarding complete. That doesn't sound right, does it? Where are your passengers? And why are they not getting to the plane? I believe the answer is actually very simple. These are connected to that package stand. These are connected to... Nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh oh. Have I got that completely muddled up? All of those are connected to this. Ah, they're in the same line. Okay, that might explain why. Those are connected to the bottom one. These. Ah, that's better. Yeah, okay. Those are connected to there. Except somewhere along the way, I obviously stopped. Okay, let's just start from this end. All of you are supposed to be connected to there, including that one. Then, <laughs> there's supposed to be a third set. Right there. Um, I think at this point though we will have to double check on that in the next episode. Until then, bye bye.